Hey guys, and welcome to episode 43 of the Reviver Cell Podcast. Here we go. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Have you got a health issue that just won't go away no matter what you try? Then welcome to the Revive Yourself Podcast, where we reveal the secrets to long-lasting health by getting to the root cause of problems that no one else is talking about. So you can have more energy, clear skin, healthier hair, a leaner physique, more confidence, and most importantly, do the things you love and live the life you deserve. Here's your host, Ryan Martin. So guys, welcome to episode 43 of the Revive Yourself podcast. As always, our episode has been sponsored by www.reviveyourself.co and you can head on over there for a free four-day mini course if you've got any sort of chronic issue, any sort of gut issue. Um, and just want to say you've been getting some great feedback on the shows. So as long as you're enjoying it, then that's what matters to me, as long as you're learning. Now, today's episode is just going to be myself, midweek one, I'm just going to be talking about Things I'll be doing this winter to avoid the flu. Now, the number one thing I will not be doing, as you can imagine, will be getting the flu jab. And I love this. It came up the other day with a few of our friends talking about it, and some put it up, and some some nurse came out and said, "Oh, you're ignorant. You don't understand. Uh, um, uh, we don't understand why why we need the flu jab." And I and I just said to him, "The only thing you got to say is, okay, well, what's in it then?" And uh, and he did, and she didn't know. And he was like, well, as I said to, to him to say to her, who's ignorant now? Now, if you want to put in your body um, formaldehyde, mercury, aluminium, uh, carbolic acid, antifreeze, MSG, aborted fetal cells, be my guest. But if I put all that into a glass and said drink it, I'll get 25 years to life for that. So you do, you do the math. Um, but anyway, enough on that. Things I will be doing this winter to avoid the flu. And just remember, there's no such thing as flu season. There's vitamin, vitamin D deficiency season as well as us not getting enough exercise. Uh, but sunlight is key for us. Now, you've got to remember, low immunity sets the stage for sickness. Okay, So any illness, whether bacterial, fungal or viral, shows up in individuals who are susceptible. So your immunity could be low for a number of reasons. Um, you could be chronically stressed. You could be having a poor diet especially for eating too much sugar. Sugar will knock out the immune system for anywhere from 6 to to 12, 18, 24 hours, depending on how much you've had. A lack of sleep. I mean, sleep is the most rejuvenating thing you can do for the body, and it's absolutely free. If you've got a build-up of toxins, um, this can come from a multitude of areas. I mean, 80,000 industrial toxins in the air. If you've got beds off, gas in. If you've got your carpet off, gas in. Um, different metals, your, your car, etc., etc. If you've got an infection, that's another reason immunity could be low. Or if you've got acidic blood. Now, all these things are going to be going to be um, adding to your susceptibility to getting ill. Now, making healthy lifestyle choices during cold and flu season, as I do the the uh, thing. <laughs> The two quote air, air, air quotes, I should say, flu season um, and all year round will really help you build your defences in your body. So you've got to make healthy lifestyle choices. Um, but there are several additional things that, and all natural steps you can take to, to harm yourself, um, to harm to arm yourself against the super contagious colds and flus. Um, and just going to give you some of them below because um, it's essential that you get them. And there's there's quite a few. So. And the things that I will be doing this year to avoid getting the flu. I'll be getting seven to eight hours sleep a night. Absolutely essential. And the other thing about sleep is it's completely free. You can throw herbs at someone or or superfoods, etc., etc. But if you're not getting enough sleep, your immune system will never reach its potential and you'll never be as strong as you could be otherwise. Mm. Ah, and then I drink water. Um, that's another, actually, that's next on the list. Um, drinking three to four liters of high quality water a day you know as i said before and i've shown many times the best solution for pollution is dilution um so making sure that you're drinking enough water is is key um i'll be eating a diet rich in organic vegetables a variety of foods as well and i'll be getting an, an adequate amount of various different meats and rotating my foods to make sure my body's not going to get allergic to anything but organic diet is absolutely essential 
once again, reducing that toxic load through pesticides, herbicides, larvicides, insecticides, rodenticides, chemical fertilizers that are all over non-organic produce as well as, you know, the glyphosate, etc. they spray. So I'll be getting the correct balance of exercise and rest. Some people will think, got to exercise loads, 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 and they burn themselves out. They literally keep smashing the plate, guys, it becomes hard to put it back together, okay? So you need to get the right amount of rest and exercise, introspection, thought, meditation, you know? Meditation and yoga is next on the list. You've got to be getting the right amount of um, clean. If you're thinking, thinking, thinking leads to a lot of bad, bad issues. So make sure your mind's nice and clear. Balance is key. As I always say, yin and yang. We've got fire and water, sun and the moon, um, you know, male and female. You've got to make sure you're doing the right thing. So I'll be getting an infrared sauna once a week. Once again, to pull out heavy metals, to open up the detoxification pathways, um, to boost my immune system. And to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting a good sweat on once. I mean, once a week. I mean, I always will be in sport anyway, apart from that. But it's really key to allow the body just to start to really get rid of those fat soluble toxins. Extremely important. Um, I'll be optimizing my vitamin D levels now. I'll be doing this by going and getting the low powered UVB. Um, uh, electronic ballast sunbed uh, controversial as that may be stimulates the cholesterol underneath my skin it gives nothing can compete with sunlight or UV light um, when it comes to vitamin D levels I could also take a spray or some other vitamin D I use but nothing compares to it and in fact Dr McCullough used to have so many articles on this I think you can probably still find them on his website um, talking about how uh, low power sunbeds are phenomenal for your health um, but the FDA uh, as they do, went to town on him and let's find him for it. Even though his his, his research was absolutely phenomenal, and I'm saying how how good they were for the skin. These are not the normal sunbeds, high powered UVA uh, magnetic ballast. These are low powered UVB um, electronic ballast, and it's a magnetic ballast that actually causes the, the skin cancer problems. A lot of people don't realise this. Um, I'll also be supplementing with high doses of whole food organic vitamin C. You know. That's actually essential. There's no, there's no toxic amount of vitamin C uh, for the body. It's going to boost your immune system. It's going to keep your immune system strong. Vitamin C, you know, it's been shown uh, to cure 60, 60 cases of, of polio with Dr. Klenner back in the 1940s. So that's how powerful it is. Um, so absolutely essential. I'll be taking a range of other organic uh, um, whole food therapeutic supplements as well. Um, all different tinctures to help my liver. Keep that strong. Um, keep the blood nice and clean, purify the blood, be taking probiotics obviously for my gut, um, gut's absolutely a key, I mean along with fermented um, and probiotic rich foods, I mean your gut's where 80% of your immune system lies, so you've got to keep that really, really healthy throughout throughout the winter, um, and other supplements, greens drinks for example, uh, and stay away from allergenic foods, you know, um, I'll be drinking supplements, shrimp teeth, things like Paldarco and Coitra Pedra. Absolutely key. I'll be getting them in every day for boosting me up. Uh, and I'll be staying away from, as I said before, processed foods, refined foods, um, things that things that have got a long shelf life. You know, things something doesn't rot somewhere. You've got to be thinking, what's right? What's wrong with this food? If you can be on the shelf for two, three years without going wrong, completely devoid of nutrition, no enzymes, devoid of minerals and vitamins, apart from the synthetic ones they put back in. You're going to get cereal out of the box. You know, they've got iron fillers in it. It's, it's ridiculous how, how bad these things are. You actually get more nutrition and value by eating the box and you will have things inside of it. Uh, so before limited my sugar intake, you want to limit it as much as possible. Because that will knock out your immune system. Avoiding vegetable oils and margarine. Margarine, people, as you know, they don't know, it's actually grey and they bleach it. They bleach it yellow so it looks like butter. Ah, oh, it's unbelievably toxic. One of the old things about. I used to say margarine is one chemical compound away from plastic. It's not, but it might as well be. It's just a poison. Avoiding table salt as well is another one. Table salt is another poison. It's one of the white devils. White flour. Uh, table salt, um, white sugar, and pasteurized dairy. All of them have been avoiding that. Um, all of them are completely toxic to the body. Pasteurized dairy, once again, avoidable enzymes. It's been to- it's been heated to such an extent it's destroyed all the enzymes. It's actually very very toxic. I mean, drinking dead bacteria. White flour, once again, no nutritional value whatsoever. Uh, gluten, wheat. Also, have peptides in there that are going to cause inflammatory response in your body, um, and it's going to be a complete nightmare. Health-wise, um, 
caffeine, I'll be avoiding that. I don't need any central nervous system stimulants in my body. Um, I just don't need anything to just throw my body out of whack uh, and give my central nervous system a boost. I just need my body to just, just to work on its own um, Caucasian rhythms. Um, I'll get my energy from my food, um, from my from my greens, just from being internally healthy. Um, as I said before, stay away from wheat, gluten, avoiding artificial sweeteners, flavors, and preservatives and food dyes. All of these things, guys. You know, these are going to be prevalent in any, any of these candies, sweets you get, things like Skittles, etc. Not going to be good for you. They're, com- they're just poison for the body, and not only for the sugar, but they're full of all those things, and it's just a health disaster. Fluoride, I'll be avoiding fluoride. My house is filtered at the main, so I get no fluoride and chlorine in my water. Um, no, thank you. It is an industrial toxin. Comes in a in a canister of skull and crossbones on it. it says poisonous in any amounts. It lowers our IQ. It uh, calcifies the penile gland. It's uh, it poisons enzymes. It is very very bad for you. It does not help your teeth. It actually makes them more brittle. It makes them bigger but more brittle. So you do the math. Uh, and fluoride uh, fluoridosis is one of the terrible things that go in the countries that use it even more than we do in our water. I said before, I'll be staying away from chemical fragrances because chemical fragrances, once again, they can wreak havoc with the toxifying system and the gut. People that are sensitive to them, you know, hotels are being sued for lots and lots of money for the fragrances they're pumping through the ducts and people can't sleep, people get allergic reactions. All these things are going to be hugely toxic to the body. Uh, and I will be using this chemical free skincare. I like to use Dr. Bronner's and I use my essential oils for a bit of a smell. Uh, you shouldn't be putting anything on your skin you cannot eat or ingest. It goes straight through the blood, straight through your skin into your bloodstream, and cause very, very. It can be very, very toxic, as you know. Most of these things are full of phylates, SLSs, um, carcinogens. They're just once again bad news. Um, yeah, and I mean the, these. Uh, this this list keeps on going on. You know, drinking a daily fermented greens drink. Um, drinking a daily energizing, immune boosting, organ cleansing, tonic things like lemon water, filled with all different tinctures. Spending time with family and friends, you know, that's very important. Spending time with your friends and family, doing things for the soul. You know, all these things are going to greatly improve your health. Um, spending time amongst nature, going for walks in the forest. I love doing that, uh, especially on a nice crisp day. You can't beat it. Just being outside, breathing in the fresh air. You know. Uh, you need to let the air, the air in, in your house sometimes because it's coming out. And most houses are 90 times more um, polluted than the air outside. So you've got to be getting some fresh air in your house. Putting plants in the house, they're going to really help as well. Um, trying to get at least 10 minutes of direct sunshine a day or just being out in the, in the fresh air 10 minutes a day. And taking time to do things I love, you know. Um, it's very important. If you don't do things you love, you're always going to be depressed, down. Your body's going to be craving um, it's just going to be stressed because you're going to be in a time of fight and flight all the time it's very stressed you want to be relaxed and when you do things that you love and enjoy your body's very relaxed you know um, it's just one of those things it's just one of those things you need to do uh, but yeah guys doing all those things add them all together really reduces your toxic load builds up your immune system um, once again strengthens your gut making a nice diverse foods for, for your gut microbiome it's going to be huge you know uh, and that and those, they're the things I will be doing um, and I will be staying away from the flu jab so I mean, the words flu season strike fear into the most hearts of the British public and even American listeners out there and all around the world. But honestly, it shouldn't be the case. You know, in our war against um, bugs and bacteria, I mean, we've, we've, people were talking about how bad the bacteria is all the time, the, the germ, the germ, the germ. Louis Pasteur said it, and on his deathbed, he even said the germ's nothing, the terrain's everything, you know. We've created such a harsh environment. Um, people are using all these antibacterial soaps all the time that um, put in ba- antibiotics in, in food. You've actually got antibiotic resistant bacteria strains now, superbugs, because of this overuse of antibiotics and anti anti um, anti uh, micro uh, microbial um, hand washes, etc. So, what's the solution to this, guys? You've got to really strengthen your immune system. You've got to be use the methods I used. I outlined, I outlined the uh, before. I spoke about before. You know. From the inside out, um, you've got to really strengthen yourself because that provides great protection against bacteria, viruses, parasites, all while supporting your your gut with good bacteria and helping you fight any infection that comes your way. You know, I haven't had the flu or cold in nine years. If I feel something come, there's certain things I'll, I'll take. Maybe get some olive oil garner in there, um, for example, or some grapefruit seed extract. 
I mean, studies show 85% of people who get the flu jab actually get the flu. So even without mentioning the ingredients, as I said before, that stat should just um, just baffle you. You know, how the hell is it happening? So all the people have got a month, the other months to a day uh, out of the eight. I think it's eight people have got a month. Um, all eight of them had had the mumps vaccine, and people who didn't get the mumps hadn't had a vaccine. You do the maths. Um, so if you really want to build your immunity, you know. Disease can't live up when there's health. Something I'll be doing a post on later on. You know, disease and health cannot live in conjunction with each other. They are bipolar opposites. You know, um, so once you're healthy, you never get disease. Anyway, hope that's helped today, guys. It's something I want to talk about in this, this in this period because always people going out getting the flu jab. It's, it's even mentioned on TV and adverts. You see them saying, "I'll be get, getting my flu jab, etc." Go and come and get it. Come and get it free. And these things are just a complete health disaster, a nightmare. And so I wouldn't be going near it if it's my say. I'm not a medical doctor, so I can't give you medical advice. But in my opinion, I would not be getting them. Um, as I said, nothing we give here is medical advice. So take it on, do your own research. There's lots of different places you can look. Um, I've actually if you look at my uh, articles. I'll be putting them up on the website www.reviveyourself.com, and also on my Facebook page, my personal one on the Revive site. If you go Facebook forward slash Revive Natural Health or on um, Revive underscore um, yourself on Instagram, you're going to find all the articles we've got there. So that's it for today, guys. As always, um, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll speak to you soon. But if you want to be be healthy this this winter. Do all the things that I've mentioned there, or just some of the things I've mentioned there. They're going to go a long way to keeping you healthy, keeping you fit, and so you can enjoy the festive season and the winter and carry on being your healthiest, happiest self. Okay, guys, see you next week, and look out for the latest and next episode of the Vibe Cell Podcast because more of them will be coming your way. Okay, guys, take care. Speak to you soon. If you're struggling with gut issues such as gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, indigestion, heartburn, and want to finally be able to eat the foods you love without the crippling after effects, then don't forget to head over to reviveyourself.co and pick up your free copy of The Healing Health Paradigm today.